everybody. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about the different kinds of seances that there are. So a lot of people don't realize that there's actually like different kinds of seances, different categories, and, uh, and some of you may have participated in a seance or watched one on TV and not even realized it. So we're going to talk about that. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is a religious Seance. So basically, people that practice the religion of spiritualism or um, divine metaphysics, which is a branch off of the spiritualist church, would often hold seances, and they still do, um, as part of a church service. So they would, um, a lot of these are open to the public too. So if you um, know of a spiritualist church in your area and, uh, and they're doing something like this, you would be able to go and, uh, and participate, which is really cool. Um, so basically, they would hold a seance as part of the service. They would communicate messages from spirit. The messages would be communicated by an ordained minister or a gifted medium. Um, and they call these message services or demonstrations of the continuity of life. So um, these would be really cool. So everybody would um, potentially get a message from spirit. And then um, these seances would usually be followed by a healing service. And then um, everybody would kind of go home. So this is like a church thing. And it's really kind of fascinating to me that they can do this um, in a church setting. It's not what you traditionally think of when you think of church. So I think it's really neat. Um, another type of seance would be a stage mediumship seance. Now this is what I'm talking about when I say that you might have attended a seance and not even realized it. So uh, stage mediumship seances are the ones where the medium is on stage and they are doing readings for an audience. So they are getting messages from spirit and they are delivering these messages to audience people. So if you've ever gone to see a famous medium um, for one of their shows, you participated in kind of um, what is considered a seance. So that is pretty neat. Um, one of the first people to ever do this was Pascal Beverly Randolph, and she did um, these stage mediumship readings, but she was also very famous for being able to deliver messages from seers and philosophers like Plato. So um, it's really cool, but she like set the groundwork for what you see now when you go get... Um, go to these shows for, for these mediums that, uh, that do readings for the audience. So that's really neat. Um, another type of seance is a leader assisted seance. So these would be the ones that you would see quite a lot on TV. This is what is represented um, in movies and stuff like that. So they would be led by somebody that was like very well versed in doing seances or had a uh, like has a lot of knowledge in how to communicate with spirit or a gifted medium. And these are the ones that either the medium would be delivering message to a small group of people around a table or um, the uh, you would be using tools like spirit boards or pendulums, dowsing rods, automatic writing, um, things like that. These are the ones that are done usually in dark rooms. These are the ones that have most frequently been debunked um, by skeptics because of the dark rooms and all of the kind of things that go on. Um, it's easy for frauds um, and fake mediums to kind of trick people that are participating in the seance. So if you're going to do one of these, you want to make sure that you're doing everything properly and by the book and uh, and not getting somebody that doesn't really know what they're doing. So another type of seance would be an informal seance. So these would be when you and all of your teenage friends sat around in your basement and uh, played with a Ouija board, you were conducting an informal seance. So um, yeah, you might have participated in a seance without knowing when you were a teenager. Um, these are 
considered seances that are held completely out of the context of the church. There's nothing spiritual, um, like from the church of spiritualism about them. They're just sort of like people sitting around um, attempting to communicate. So possibly people that conduct paranormal investigations that sit around doing EVP sessions are conducting a kind of informal seance as well. So that's kind of cool. If you're an investigator, you might be doing seances like really regularly and not even realize it. So I don't know. That's pretty neat. Um, and then the last one would be a spiritualist seance. So these would be done by people that practice spiritualism. These people would all kind of sit around a table and they would, um, multiple people from the table would be communicating with spirit at the same time. So you would have to be a member of the Church of Spiritualism to participate in this kind of official spiritualist seance. Um, or be brought in by a spiritualist to, um, to maybe observe or participate. So, um, that's really neat. So when we conduct our seance on October 26th, it is going to be some form of leader assisted or informal, um, seance, depending on how we set it up. And, uh, and it's going to be pretty cool and i think we're going to we're going to have some really interesting and fun results so if you have any questions about different kinds of séances or have had experiences with the séances that you participated in um let me know and otherwise i'll be back on another day with another video about the different tools that you can use to do seances and uh, how they work and um, how you can get results and how you can record those results and uh, maybe we'll talk about the science behind seances as well because there's some science there so yeah anyway thanks guys talk to you later bye